Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with you to share my November favorites. So I was looking through my YouTube channel and I feel and I saw that I haven't done a favorites video in months, I think almost five months. So now that it's November, it's actually getting cold where I'm at. I think it's around like 68 was our low. And also I'm sorry if the lighting is a little weird. I have um, like the ring light on and then outside lighting so I don't know if it's gonna work out. But anyways, yes, I've been, ugh, I've had a couple of products that I've been using for a while now that I never had a chance to update you guys about. So we are going to go through them and then just like my go-to products right now. So yeah, if you want to see my November favorites, please keep watching. Okay, so first thing I want to talk about is a cleanser and it is this Glam Glow Super Cleanse cleanser. It looks like a shaving cream bottle, but it is legit a face cleaner. So if you are... You're probably familiar with the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. It looks a lot similar to this, but it comes in a pot that's probably like that big. And that is a super great detoxifying mask that you use in the evenings or in the mornings or whenever. And then you rinse it off and it really just keeps your skin like blemish free. Well, this is the cleanser version of that. Um, it says mud to foam, but I feel like it doesn't really get foamy at all. It just gets like creamy. But it does the job so well. I bought this in the April VIB sale for Sephora. And I still have some left. Also, I want to say if I get winded or if I feel like I'm like talking weird. It's probably because, I'm, probably because I am because, yeah, I am 19 weeks pregnant. So I feel like I can't like talk without like getting short of breath. But... So the reason I love this cleanser is because I feel like it does exactly what the mask does, just in an everyday fast version. So I use this probably about in the evenings and I feel like it really makes my skin clear. Um, I also use it with a like a spinning brush so it exfoliates at the same time. So I really do love it, but like I said, I do not follow the directions because it says that you're supposed to apply it to your dry face and then... Um, cleanse it from there but I just use water as normal and apply it as like a normal cleanser and I really love it if you have oily skin or acne prone skin I recommend this it's kind of pricey it's $40 but it does last you like six to eight months I haven't done a talking video in so long I feel like I'm like freaking out okay I really hope the lighting isn't horrible you guys because it I feel like it might be a little intense um, the next product I want to mention is the Lush African Paradise Body Conditioner. So, as I mentioned, if you are pregnant and you are you feel like putting on lotion every day or three times a day is a little excessive and annoying, I highly recommend you get this guy, and not just for my pregnant people out there, ladies out there, but if you are one of those people who find it really annoying to waste time putting on lotion after the shower, you need this in your life. You get to stay in the cozy shower and then you just apply this and massage it into your skin as normal like you would regular lotion. And then you just rinse it off in the shower and then you step out and you're completely hydrated. No need to do lotion after. It smells really good too. Um, this is the African Paradise kind which kind of smells like, um. oh god, here we go. It's like kind of more warm and like sensual. Yeah, warm and sensual, I would I would say this one smells like. But they do have another one that's called Rose Argan Body Conditioner. And that one smells really floral like roses. So you can pick and choose. This one is the more expensive of the two. This tub is around $40, where the other one I believe is like $25. But it does last you a long time. I just really recommend it, especially in these um, drier months where you want your skin to feel nice and moist but you hate putting on lotion like me i just hate it now that i'm pregnant too it's just like it's another like awful chore to add on and <sighs> okay now we are going to jump into makeup favorites and i have probably like six or seven products that i use all the time and they are stuck in my regular routine because that is how much i love them but i realized i haven't talked to you guys like face to face about it because I haven't done favorites in so long. So the first one is the foundation that I've been wearing, that I swear by, that I recommend to everyone, and that is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. 
and I am in shade 102. Did you guys see my cat just open? My cat did that. But yeah, I'm in shade 102, and this is a drugstore foundation, so I believe it runs you around seven or eight dollars. What I love about this foundation is that it keeps me matte, and I believe the color range is really good, and it lasts all day, and it is affordable. I've tried lots of high-end foundation, low-end foundation, and I keep coming back to this one. It does not break me out. It's just great coverage, and it stays matte, and it looks good on your skin. It's not one of those ones where you put it on, and it clings, and it just intensifies everything. This kind of feels like it blurs out your skin, and it's just a really nice laying foundation. So I highly re recommend this one if you are oily or normal, if you are dry. Maybe you can use this. I would maybe wet your um, beauty blender with like Fix Plus or something or do hydrating primer and stuff like that. But yeah, I love this foundation. It's what the only thing I've been wearing for like the past like four months. Okay, next is an also a drugstore product and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And mine is in Fair. They have Fair, Light, Medium, Sand. They have a bunch of different color options for this. But I really love this concealer because I just feel like it looks really pretty on your skin. It does a good job brightening and it's not too thick and it doesn't get cakey or anything like that. And it is really creamy. I know some people compare this to the NARS Creamy Concealer. But I actually prefer this one better because I just feel like it's just so easy to use. The NARS concealer kind of has like a weird twisty thing and then the doe foot is kind of weird. This is just like bomb. You can just go ham with this all over your face and then what you're left with is just a really nice soft kind of like airbrush look and it wears really well all day long. It doesn't crease on you or anything like that. So I really recommend this concealer if you are looking for a drugstore option or if you're looking for any concealer in general and you haven't tried the Fit Me concealer, I recommend it. I've heard people say that it does crease but... I don't notice that at all and I set it with powder as soon as I put it on so maybe they're doing something wrong or maybe I don't know it's good <laughs> trust me it's good try it okay next is a bronzer that I want to talk about and this is mostly for I guess medium skin tones can wear it but this is mostly for like my really fair light skin girls in this in the summer we can wear like benefit hula and stuff I can get away with wearing hula in the summer only. In the winter I can't because it's just too much. So I always resort back to my Makeup Forever Pro Matte Bronzer and this is in 20. Men's all wore off. I've had it for like two years now. But you can see that I've hit pan but it's just like the perfect color without being obnoxious and without being fake. It provides warmth to your skin but it's it's not going to be it's not like, oh my gosh, you put on too much bronzer. You don't feel like you put on too much bronzer. It's just a nice, healthy glow that is great in months like these where you are a lot fairer. More fair. Fair? More fair than usual. Okay, I have three more products. The next thing is this Marc Jacobs Black Gel Liner Eyeliner. Yeah, it's called Highliner Gel Crayon. So I've been looking for a black hole liner or something that I can use to line my waterline that actually stays on since I started makeup pretty much. And I feel like they all, maybe they go on great and they last like an hour, but then they're out of your waterline. This one actually stays. And I'm not just saying that because it's like a $25 eyeliner. It legit oh gosh here we go okay so you can see how super black it is right there but it is also like gel so it's actually really creamy and it doesn't tug on your waterline when you apply it either and it stays you guys it stays like all day um, not even kidding this is a real deal black liner um yeah so don't get put off by like the price point because this is something that actually works that we all need and we're all looking for that actually does what it's supposed to do. It stays on your waterline all day long. I love it. I had the sample size at first, but then I had to go and get the full size because it's that good. So put this on your Christmas wish. I know it's kind of obnoxious that it's like a $25 liner, but it's real. <laughs> Just tell your boyfriend or hubby to get it for you and don't worry about it. Okay, so Benefit Rockateur is a really pretty rose gold blush. I will swatch it. I don't know if we'll be able to get anything good going on, but I will try for you, girl. 
Oh gosh, it's gonna be awful. Okay, well, I don't, maybe that, oh yeah, okay, so that's it right there. And you can see kind of, it's kind of metallic. It is not glittery or obnoxious at all. It is more of a metallic sheen that is just so flattering on. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing the other one I'm going to show you, but this one I love. Every time I wear it, I just don't know why I don't wear it every single day of my life. Um, the packaging is really adorable too. If you are looking for a blush from Benefit, I highly recommend this one first. Regardless of what skin tone you are, this will look stunning. <sighs> the second one is a drugstore blush, and it is Milani's Rose Diora blush. And I am wearing it today, and you can just see that it is also a rose infused gold. <laughs> they are all. <laughs> They're pretty much dupes for each other. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so there's Milani Rose D'Oro and there's Benefit Rocketeur. You can see Rose D'Oro has a little more copper, um, kind of peach in it. And then Benefit Rocketeur is more pink. But I really feel like you need both of these. They are different. I feel like this one, the Milani one, is just... It is just so beautiful and I feel like this is another one that would look absolutely stunning on anyone and it is infused with like gold and copper too so it's cute. Um, last thing I want to talk about are my lashes. Um, uh, can you, can you see them? I'll put up a picture of like <laughs> Instagram or something so, so you can see like how like long and fluttering and um, kind of extreme they are, but I am obsessed. These are the Coco Lashes Queen Bee. Coco Lashes Queen Bee Lashes. And yeah, I don't have them in the in the box thing, but I will find one online and put them up here so you guys can see them. They are just absolutely beautiful and I am obsessed. I feel like in this kind of, um, this time of the year, I don't like really like harsh lashes. I feel like a lip kind of does the talking and then your lashes should just be like fluttery and beautiful and light and big but not like stiff and pointy you know what I'm saying I think I explained that good but yeah I love these I think they are so flattering and they are very um Kardashian lashes I think you should know what I mean where they're just like everywhere and then if you do bottom lashes too your eyes are just like so big and doe-eyed I love them and um, they they're like seven dollars too so i recommend these guys i order mine from lady moss beauty and they get to me all the way in japan in like a week so i imagine if you live in the states you can get them really fast <sighs> you need them <laughs> they are so nice and they are just beautiful so yeah that wraps up my november favorites i hope this video wasn't too awkward and i'm not too winded or too bright or anything like that um thank you guys for watching let me know what you've been loving this month for all you people out there who get to drink lattes and everything like that i envy you i think about you and how lucky you are every day and also those people who are in the cold just cherish it for a second i know it might be miserable but it is still like 70 degrees over here and i just I don't feel like the holiday spirit or Christmas or anything. So just cherish the cold, love each other. Let me know what you've been loving down below. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.